This video covers the frequency procedure and a few of the options you can use with ProctFreak in order to explore your data set. The basic syntax you need to obtain frequency tables is PROC, FREQ, F-R-E-Q, which stands for frequency, data equals, the name of your data set, followed by a semicolon. Now, if you were to run this syntax, you would get a frequency table for every single variable in your data set. This takes us to our first option. You can use the tables option in order to obtain frequency tables for just the variables you're interested in. After the semicolon, you add the word tables, the variables you're interested in separated by a space, and then closed with a semicolon. Here, I'm requesting frequency tables for my gender and arrival variables. The default in SAS is to order the response options based on the numeric code that's assigned to them. So for example, my gender variable is coded zero equals male and one equals female. This takes us to our next set of options. You can ask SAS to put the response options in a particular order. The two orders I tend to use most frequently are order equal formatted and order equal freak. The formatted option will order the response options alphabetically based on the label that you have assigned. The order equal freak option will order the response options in descending frequency. This option needs to be put on the same line as the proc freak statement before the semicolon. Let's take a look at both of these. You can see that my gender variable is now ordered female male because I use the order equal formatted option. My arrival variable is in descending frequency because I use the order equal freak option. You can see both these tables have a note frequency missing equal one. That's because I have a missing data point in both of these variables. This takes us to our next set of options. You can tell SAS how to handle missing data. The two options are misprint and missing. Misprint will add a line to your frequency table, but it won't include that missing data in your computations in SAS. The missing option will include missing data in your computations. To use this option, you simply add a slash in your tables line and then put misprint or missing followed by the semicolon. Let's run both of these. You can see with the misprint option, I get an extra line in my frequency table that indicates I have one data point missing, but it's not included in any of the computations. The missing option does include it in the computations. You may be interested in two-way tables with frequencies. This is comparable to the cross tabs option in SPSS. To obtain a two-way table, all you have to do is add an asterisk between two variable names. So in my tables line, I have gender asterisk arrival because I want a two-way table with gender by arrival. Notice that there's no space here. I also included some syntax underneath just to show that you can actually use that missing data and those order options with your two-way tables. Let's run a basic two-way table for gender and arrival. You can see that you get a lot of information here, including a row percent and a column percent. If you're not interested in that data and you just want a very basic two-way table, you can actually tell SAS not to print the row or column percents. And to do that, you add a slash in your tables line and add no row for no row percents or no call for no column percents. Let's take a look at those. You can see that when I use both these options, I get a very simple two-way table with just the frequency and percent. If you're running a lot of two-way tables and you want a way to simplify your syntax, you can do so by grouping variables together. In this example, I want a two-way table with gender and arrival and another two-way table with gender and satisfy. Now, this syntax will get me that information. But if I want to simplify it, I can actually put arrival and satisfy in parentheses after an asterisk. And what this tells SAS to do is make a two-way table with gender by arrival and then gender by satisfy. Both these sets of syntax will get you the same information. It's just that the second one is a little simpler and cleaner. Let's run it just to take a look. And you can see that we get two two-way tables. Now, if you're running two-way tables, you may be interested in chi-square tests. 
To get chi-square statistics is very simple. All you have to do is add CHISQ after the slash on your tables line. And this will give you several different chi-square statistics. If we run this syntax, you can see that we get a frequency table for gender and arrival, the two-way table, but we also get our chi-square statistics underneath.